Okay, here we're straight in, almost straight into the right side of the side pocket. As you see, we've got two balls in the way, so I can't use high left to hit the cushion to the right of the side and go up and play position for the three. So what I'm going to do here is actually elevate my cue, jump into the one ball, make the cue ball hop, and then after it makes the one ball, the cue ball is going to actually curve over and hit the left side of the side pocket and spin down for position for the three. Now this is a really, really neat shot that's showing you how you can change the angle. Okay, on this shot here, I want to pocket the one ball, and I want to come up to get position on the two ball. If I pocket this one ball with a straight high left, the best I can possibly do probably is hit the left side of the side pocket and go back over towards the side pocket uh, on the other side. But if I elevate the cue and jump into the ball with about 11 o'clock, the cue ball will actually make the one Massay a little bit, hit the left side of the side pocket, and go all the way up table to get position for the two ball. Okay, here's a neat shot. You're dead straight in on the three ball. The cue ball and the object ball is a little bit off the cushion. So it'd be very difficult to go rail first because you got the seven ball in the way. What I'm gonna show you here, if you shoot that straight into it, and I like you're almost trying to scratch, but elevate the cue and hit it about 11 o'clock, very high. After the ball goes, the cue ball will actually curve. It hops a little bit and it's gonna curve the mass A over and hit the side cushion with all that left spin and carry the cue ball up table. Okay, here's a shot. I want to play the one ball and I want to come back down here for position to the left side of the three ball for the corner pocket. Now the angle that I have is, is the other direction, so the, the cue ball is going to go to the left. And I'm going to demonstrate the best that I can do here by using high right. And I'm going to put maximum right English and to show you uh, that you can't get position on the three just by using high right. So I'm going to show you this shot first, and I'm going to show you then I'm going to show you how to get position for the three ball. Okay, now I'm going to show you that you can get the cue ball uh, position for the three by elevating the cue and jumping into the ball, and then it changes the tangent line a little bit on the one ball, and the extreme English is going to, it's going to make the cue ball curve a little bit. I can actually come all the way down to the to the bottom, you know, to the to the rail here. You got to aim different. You, you need to practice this shot because you're aiming different on the ball. Uh, with, with lots of practice, you can you can master this shot. Okay, this shot, this is a really, I really love this shot. This one Dan Lewis showed me. Six balls, a little bit off, off away from the cushion. Uh, it's probably about a 